Yo, so I'm just playing on my own right now, but I came out and I saw this. So I got a lot of explaining to do, but check this out. They're making a baby vill- Uh, was I not supposed to watch the movie's best? He's like, why would you be watching this? Go to your freaking house. There's plenty of other places to do that. They were going to make a baby villager, and I started watching, and that spooked him. Okay, got a lot of explaining to do. But I thought we were going to see something pretty magical. Turns out I'm just a creep. So uh, be back later. Thanks, guys. All right. This is wild. I wish I would have gotten it on camera. But I didn't. So we're just going to have to see the effects. So this, this trader guy spawned. And he's been chilling here for a minute. And he legit just pulled out an invisible potion and drank it. Like you can see. Or you could when the video started. So go back like five seconds and watch it. The little swirly like potion things coming through. Like now he's right here. I can't even. Oh, I can't even click on him. That's freaking wild. You can see the swirly things. I wonder if he does that because it's getting night and he doesn't want to get attacked. I don't know. That's pretty wild. We're gonna keep watching him, but uh, I'll be back with more content in just a second. Wild. All right, it's daytime, so I went to sleep and I came right back awake. Obviously, that's how this game works. And he's back. So I don't know. I guess that's like a function I've never seen. From this guy, but uh, I think I'm gonna trade with him for the first time. I want one of these dark oak saplings, but hopefully he's here when I decide to do that in like ten minutes. Be back. All right, moving towards him. We're gonna do our first trade with a villager. A little salty that it's not my own villager, but that's okay. So we're gonna get a dark oak sapling. Here we go. Yes. Nice. Keep coming back with better deals. That's all I want. That was five emeralds, and that cost a ton. But thank you for doing business. He might be taking off now. Don't know. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And I got a lot of updating to do. So give me a second. All right, guys. What's up? I'm back with another video. Castle Siege, episode three. Got a lot of explaining to do. Been doing a ton on my own kind of free time without recording. But first, huge announcement. Proud to announce that uh, we've got our first ever Sterlistair merch. Uh, long sleeve t-shirt made so uh, my friends and I biggest fans coincidentally um, have this little thing where we make a t-shirt every month or try to call it the t-shirt club November edition right here as you can see Let's see if you get a good look at that and uh, we decided that this month was going to be Sterlis Air merch so um, went ahead and made this long sleeve t-shirt designed a special logo just for it I'll put it on the screen now and uh, put it on a t-shirt and ordered it. So pretty pumped about that. But it's definitely what I'm going to record in today. So uh, let's get that fixed and squared away right away, huh? All right, much better. So like I said, I got a lot of explaining to you. Been doing a ton off camera. First things first, this is the, uh, the tower, the finished tower. I got the first one finished here. Um, so I'll go ahead and take you through that in just a second. Brought our donkey out here, got some furnaces, been uh, grinding, collecting, and we got a fox. So uh, this guy was poking around the the castle here in the forest, and I, I thought, why not get a lead? I had an extra one from the mule here and, and hook him up. So that's pretty cool. He just kind of hangs out. Um, but yeah, that's our little fox. So don't know what we're going to do with him yet. There's another one in there, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get him to. Not just yet. But yeah, so here's the tower. Let's check it out real quick. So I've just got a stone floor right now but we go up to level two so what level two looks like we were kind of familiar with this this is where i stopped made the uh, bridge over to the other side here the archway and this is where the other tower is at so we're going to finish this one today um going on back to the uh, first tower here if we go up to the third story of this tower it's a little smaller like i said i made it a little smaller um but it's really cool i've got these like balconies and you can see a good bit from each uh each uh, face of the the tower here. So this is my favorite view right here. I think it's pretty awesome. Looks onto this big forest. Got the mountains in the background and the uh, kind of like s whatever those trees are called, the um, snowy trees. <laughs> but yeah, so that one's pretty cool. And then we finished the turret, like I was talking about. Interesting design. Not exactly what I had in mind originally, but I do like it. Um, oh, need to finish this one here. I was experimenting with some some looks. So. This is what I decided on, but again, you can just kind of get a good view from each side, attack points, vantages, things like that. So I like the way it came out, 
and we're gonna basically duplicate it on this side of the tower here. Later on, I'm gonna put some banners, I think, coming from this, uh, this, I don't know what you want to call this, this piece of the building here of the, of the castle. So we're gonna see how that looks when I get to that uh, point. I'm not completely done with the interior of these towers. They're just kind of uh, finished to where they can be used. But I want to put some glowstone, maybe some redstone lamps, things like that, maybe in place of the torches. Let me know what you think. But, uh, yeah, let me go show you some stuff that's going on with the village. So uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so like I said, I went ahead and did some exploring because I was mining and popped up somewhere way over there. Oops. And had to find my way back. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get back to this village, but I've always got a compass on me. And that brought me back to the spawn, which is where my nether portal to get here is. So I was able to get back. But while I was doing that, I came across quite a few villages. There we go. Got a new guy. And uh, I took some things from the villages. So let me get these guys here. Okay, again, that's not what that does. Dang it. <laughs> I thought it brought them all to the center, but apparently it just brings them all to their houses. All right, but I picked up one of these, so it's a repair and disenchant stone. It replaces the anvil, I believe, which they had in a few updates. Maybe not, but that's there, so we got a blacksmith. Um, I put a... Oh, this thingy. Don't know what it does. Definitely not useful. Can I click on that? Okay, I don't know what it does, but we got that guy. That's the one we just saw walking around, so we're going to see what he can trade, but the blacksmith has actually got a pretty good trade. Is that where he's at over there? Let's see. All right, so the blacksmith. Yeah, okay, so he's he's got some good trades. An iron sword. Well, actually, he changed. So that's not what he had a little while ago. He actually, I think, had some, like, rotten flesh that I could trade him, and that was a really good trade. Let me go ahead and sleep here, and then I'll be right back, guys. All right, so let's see if we can find that guy that just, uh, <laughs> that I sent away with the freaking bell. I'm so dumb. Um... See, he was like a like a Fletcher or something. I don't know what he's called. Got that guy, the like Archimist. Darn man. Let me look for him and I'll uh, I'll pop back in. I think we have three farmers now even. Yeah, I'll pop back up when I find him. Actually, we did get a new farmer. Here's this trade right here. Twenty wheat for an emerald, that's pretty good. So we'll definitely do some trading with him. We've got a lot of wheat built up. Alright, here we go. I found him. So I've never seen this guy before. He's yeah, he's a Fletcher. Cool. Oh, so I give him gravel and an emerald, and I get 10 flint. That's a ridiculous trade. That's me getting ripped off, bud. But 32 sticks for an emerald, that's pretty good, too, so I'll definitely be visiting him again. But uh, awesome. So, yeah, the village is expanding a bit. I don't know if we have any new villagers. We still got some walking around without jobs, so I'm going to try to see what I can do about getting them some jobs. Like if I put two uh, repair and disenchant things, grinder stones, I think they're called, do we get two weaponsmiths? So we're going to try to figure that out. But other than that, the village is growing, the castle's coming together, and I've been collecting a whole lot of resources. So we should be able to get moving on building this castle, finishing the uh, second tower here, and then I'm not really sure what direction we're going to take after that. But I'll be sure to let you know, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on building this section of the tower here, and uh, I'll cut back in when I've got some more progress made. Alright, so let's see, it looks like I've got... These here is like little caps. I don't, unfortunately, remember how I built that. I've got an idea, but uh, I should have recorded that. Kind of dumb on me for not doing that, but that's all right. Okay, and then I know I did this here. I played around with it for so long. That that tower had so many different designs. Um, okay, so it's that. How did I do this? <laughs> Okay, and then it looks like two coming in like that. Okay. And then behind it, I had stone slabs. So let's go ahead and put down some stone slabs. Ooh, no, that's not right. They're down on this level. Yeah, they're down on that level. Because then I can put a new block. That's right, yes. Okay, so let me go ahead, fill this all in. Alright, so we got that filled in. And then I've got these guys coming here. Okay. 
Oh man, that this part is so complicated <laughs> because I built the actual tower first, like like I should have. I mean, I don't even know if that's right. And then I built the the kind of exterior part there, and that's that's what's difficult. So let me try to figure that out, and we'll we'll get back to it. All right, so I finished the inside of this part of the tower. And now I've got to do the the turret here. Uh, and it's complicated because I like put uh, slabs on the exterior of the building. I, I had to like push it out. So we're going to figure out how I did that. So like for instance, that, that's four across like that. So... I can go here, one, two, three, four, okay, and then I'm pretty sure this, that's a slab, so I did, I did this, slab, slab, slab on all the corners, so slab, 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 and it sticks out like that, that's okay, slab, slab, slab and that's my last one so I need to make some more so I'm gonna keep crunching on this and I'll be right back alright yes yeah, so the next thing I did was just built up these guys and just walked it along the edge so I'm probably gonna need more stairs too that's alright so this made the outside perimeter oh I might finish uh, just a few short. All right, be right back. All right, and for the pillars here, it was just two, one, and then two, and I capped them all off with a stone, um, let's see, is that a slab? Yeah, a stone slab and then a brick for the taller one. Why did I do a brick? I guess it looked better. I thought I only did a slab, but I suppose I did a brick and it looked better. I'm telling you, I tried like, 20 different versions of, of this. I tried just plain wood. I tried, um, I mean, I, I don't even know what to tell you guys. I tried a lot of things. So let me finish this up, and then we're going to take a look at it from the exterior and see if it matches the, uh, the other tower, because it <laughs> obviously needs to. Drive me nuts if it wasn't the same. All right, so I'll see you in just a second with a different view. All right, so ignoring the giant dirt bridge that I have going across here, I think we did a good job. I think it, it matches uh, the other tower just like it's supposed to. And so that means we pretty much got two towers complete. I just have to finish the interior of this tower because, well, I've got dirt scaffolding all over it and uh, some other things. So let me do that right quick. We got a baby villager! I don't know how that happened. I literally just walked up. Came into my house, and he's walking around. So that's really good. That must be because of one of the trades that I did. I don't even think I did trades with them, so I'm not sure how that happened. I thought you had to trade with them so that they would breed. But that's great news. So that means that the village is expanding. Again, we got to figure out how to get them jobs, but that's pretty exciting. All right, team. So this is what I'm thinking. I've got glowstone in place throughout the building. So this is what I've got for the top here. Some glowstone covered by trapdoors. If we go down, this room I've got a lot of torches, but I've also replaced two of the center blocks with glowstone. On the second level, I've also got those center blocks with glowstone, but then I was able to hide some more glowstone with uh, trapdoors in the uh, centerpiece logs here, so I like that look a lot. And then for the bottom, I've got two pieces of glowstone in the center, four in the corners, and then since this is the, the biggest room, I've got more torches in the corner there so I'm gonna do the same to the next tower there but first we've got to go collect some more glowstone so it's actually a pretty cool chance to show you guys the nether and then I might even take you all the way back to the original base just to show you what that looked like so see you in the nether in just a second alright so this is the trail that leads off to my nether portal here I actually just came out on this side of it so that was kinda actually really dope really convenient um, next to this village <clears throat> but I'll continue the path this way and, and make it less, like, gross and obnoxious there. 
Uh, there's the castle in the distance. I think it looks pretty sick. I got to get rid of that dirt bridge going across the two turrets there. But we're going to pop over in the nether, and then we're going to collect some more glowstone. Um, as is just, like, smart anytime you go into the nether, you should pretty much always dump your inventory. So I dumped quite a bit there. Uh, I don't have, like, any armor, so I should probably work on that. But this is my little nether portal and where it uh, leads off to. Nothing special, just a little... I'm lost. <laughs> Whoa! What? What? Dude! <laughs> there was a friggin' creeper in here! And now I've gotta get flint and iron to make the nether portal again. <laughs> Sick. Alright, I'm considering going after that glowstone, but I'm kind of hopeful that there might be better options if I go that way. But, honestly, probably not. So we should just go this way. Especially since I've already got a pretty clean cut way down, and I really shouldn't get lost coming back. Like, famous last words, right? Oh, I hate the nether, dude. I think I'm recording. Don't know. Just hit two buttons. But, uh, what I think I'm going to work on next after I finish, uh, putting the glowstone in that second tower, instead of building more, I think I'm going to start grinding, try to find some diamond. I really want to get some enchantments going, like feather falling boots, especially since I'm just jumping around so much. Um, like I, oh, there goes the freaking thingy. The, the thingy. The shovel. Um, since I'm jumping like down from my build so much and running around, my armor takes a big hit. I take a big hit. And so um, I think that'll be the next thing that we do so I can get some feather fallen boots there. And uh, yes, that will be coming next in the next few videos. But uh, I'm going to finish collecting some glowstone, get over to the original spot where I have a treehouse, and uh, show you guys that and uh, the finished tower. And then we'll probably end the episode. So. See you back at the original spot. Never mind, there's a gas right there. And he keeps shooting at me. But I think we're okay. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. Alright guys, well, that was super unfortunate. Here's the original spot where I, uh... That's my original spawn right there where I just spawned. And then I came over this way and, uh... Made a treehouse. Man, I can't believe that happened. I was basically trying to get back into my little tunnel and was walking along um, the nether brick or nether. Woof, this is about to get freaking dicey. Um, was walking along the uh, nether rack and uh, there was just, there was one missing. You know how that goes. And I fell straight into that pool of lava. That's a big oops, man. It's big oops. It's, I lost all that glowstone and some other stuff. But that's okay. I had to come back here anyways to get uh, flint, and flint and steel and stuff like that. So I'm going to get working on that. See you guys in a few. Okay, if I could just do this in a manner that's a lot less dangerous than last time, that would be phenomenal. <laughs> because... Ugh, I'm gonna need way more than this, too. What a shame. Okay, so lessons that I've learned from this little 30-minute to an hour-long adventure, which was only supposed to take 15 minutes, is always have, like, a survival pack back at the original base with flint and steel, iron, things like that, in case I have to restart. Oh my gosh, it's nighttime again. And I don't have to go caving again just to find some flint. Oh my goodness, what a mess, guys. Also, I think the towers look pretty B.A. lit up at night. So, definitely the move with the glowstone. Dude! Get the heck out of the bed, man. <laughs> I get that I took your house. But this is my house now. So inconsiderate, man. I'm doing all this for you. You know that? You're not even working. You're a bum. We'll talk about this later, man. Go get a job.
All right, guys, so we finished the uh, tower renditions here. So we've got glowstone all throughout. And then I did this little neat thing on the bridge. I took out two of the uh, downward-facing stairs, and I put in the glowstone and then some trap doors to light up that bridge at night. And I actually think it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, so we got the two towers finished this episode and did some trading with some villagers and things like that. So uh, that pretty much concludes this episode, guys. Not a ton was done, but enough. So... Next episode, like I said, we're going to be grinding, trying to enchant, getting some diamonds, things like that. So look forward to building the enchantment table and things like that. Um, and then maybe we'll start designing the outer walls for this because they're going to go out so we can get, get this nice perimeter wall going. So that's all I got for you guys this episode. If you could drop a like for me, that would be huge. It helps to get the video out there so that people can see it when browsing YouTube. And if you'd like to see any other content, World of Warcraft, more Minecraft, different projects... Uh, Minecraft mini games. I can work on Call of Duty, things like that. Just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Sterless Dare, and uh, have a great day, guys.